The anxiety over the Wuhan coronavirus continues to take a toll on the aviation industry. We talked about it last night. American Airlines and United are suspending flights to Hong Kong, saying demand for seats is down. Both airlines had already stopped operating to mainland China. At one point this year, demand for travel from the US to China dropped more than 58% compared to this time last year, according to the travel app Hopper, which predicts prices for flights and hotels. Hopper's economist Haley Berg joins me now from Boston. What are you seeing? Just how bad is it for those, uh, uh, for those airlines and those prices? So far, we've seen that 58% drop is the biggest so far. We do expect it to continue. We've already seen some airlines adjust their expectations for capacity all the way through the end of April. So definitely remains to be seen how far in spread this capacity cut will be. But today, we're expecting about 5% of U.S. international capacity to be cut out of the market until this virus is cleared up. Are you seeing any spill over into other routes? In other words, a not just direct to China or to Asia, but, for example, transatlantic. Are you seeing any weakness uh, or softness in those pricing pressures? We're seeing the most price impact from the U.S. and the North American region to Asia and Southeast Asia. So far, there hasn't been an impact on transatlantic routes, primarily because China was such a connecting country for access to other parts of Southeast Asia. And without those connections, there's much less capacity, which is driving up prices to some of those other regions. OK. Um, talk about Hopper, which is I, I, I confess I have used several times uh, in terms of finding flights. How do you do it? I mean, how's it, how's it work out when the best time yeah. to buy a ticket is? So the best predictor of future prices and demand are historical demand and prices. So we're using machine learning and AI and five years of historical data, so about 65 trillion data points, to predict what we think the best price will be for consumers. And then we send them a notification via the app as soon as that price is available. And uh, what's the... I, I realize you know you're from Hobart, but what's the error range in that thing? You know, because obviously an exogenous event can send things completely off the charts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when there's an impact to demand, something like a coronavirus or even a hurricane, we do see differences in how people shop and the prices available in the market. But again, since we have such a long range of historical data, we're able to look back at other similar events, other outbreaks like Zika or hurricanes, blizzards, to see how demand and prices moves at those times and help us adjust the forecasts. It's extraordinary the, the amount of data that you must be getting in to be... Because, I, as I say, I've used it on several routes when I've been looking to buy tickets, uh, and it's extremely effective. So um, uh, congratulations on that. Thank you for joining us. and talk about, We'll talk more about this in the future.